You know, he started with nothing. That's the interesting thing to me, with a quarter in his pocket when he arrived and went broke, what, three or four times, badly the last time, and somebody said, uh, oh, we'll give you the money and give you another start. He said, uh-uh. I did it, I'll get out of it, and he did. He loved teaching children. And any man that would spend his life teaching children at a little church in Covington uh, just had to know what he was doing. I was uh, not quite three years old. I was about two and a half years old uh, when I came up here. Um, but it, it just stayed with uh, us uh, in our lifetime. Uh, and it's, it's ironic, uh, I was asking some of my older siblings uh, about some of the fun things we might have done up here. It was pretty difficult to come up with fun things. And I mentioned that to my mom one time and, and she said, well, uh, it wasn't about having fun. It was about keeping the family together. And that's, that's really what, uh, looking back at it, that was very important. Um, not only was it uh, our, our nuclear family, uh, we had an extended family that I wasn't aware of for, for years, but it, it kind of all came back here to uh, our, our time uh, at the home. The very first day I was here, it was a little bit heartbreaking to see these boys walking through the hallway and understanding that what they'd been faced with for a number of years of their life, lives, and I think about my grandsons and my granddaughter and think, you know, how could this happen to someone? And um, I got to know them, a lot of them personally. They come up, shake my hand, call me Mr. Bill, want to come in my office and sit in my chair. Uh, we have a lot of fun, and I, more than anything, I want to see them leave this place and be successful. This is how I do my own grandkids. I, I really get excited at the challenge of making the initial connection with a kid and then helping him connect and bridge back to his family and the community. Um, these kids, each and every one of them has potential. They have hidden strengths and hidden talents. Um, they may have recognized them earlier in their childhood. They've, they've gotten buried away, and, and I love helping them rediscover or discover them for the first time. Um, when we were here, uh, we had more people helping us, and we even had people ready to adopt us if we were to be put out. We had family members ready. We didn't need that. Now uh, families just don't seem to be as uh, cohesive and supportive, and, and that's what we're trying to introduce these boys to some type of support and adhesive uh, uh, groups that they know will be there to protect them. The home is supported by a large swath of people, different people, and without their support, the home cannot continue to do what it is doing for the community. Um, and we are just a piece of that. We're just a little piece, one of those wires, and it needs more wires. It needs a lot more. And I hate to sound like we're on the ask, but the fact of the matter is a lot of our funding comes from the state and you never know from one month to the next whether the state will be able to provide the right funding for what we want to do for the boys. So obviously we're looking to the community to, to provide dollars for us to be able to move forward in our programming. We need a career resource library. We need facilitators on campus to help with the leadership component. And one last thing, it's important for the boys and for our benefactors, for the people who support the home, to be able to walk into the residence in the main building and feel like this is a great institution. And it needs a facelift, quite frankly. And we're hoping to do some things that will beautify the home so we all feel a little bit better about it. I mean, we need it so badly. And uh, it's not a very 
glorious thing to do. Uh, perhaps the symphony, the opera, and things like that attract more attention because they're more exciting. And this is a lifetime job to, to uh, work with these children. Yeah, I, you just have to have a lot of love and <laughs> thanks to people who do these things. And at our age, we wish we'd done more. All of us wish we could do more, but not much longer. Time runs out. <laughs>